Hi, it's Roberto Mickey again, and we have a video here showing some of the data that we obtained from some testing on the Mira Safety Particle Max filter. A viewer of another video asked us to do some testing on this particular filter, and so we did so. This is a plug for the channel. Hit like and subscribe to help out this channel. These are some photos of the filter in its packaging, both from the side and from the top and from the bottom and this filter is nicely packaged. It's a little bit difficult to get out of the packaging, but it's well sealed so that you know that the filter is not going to be contaminated or expired. This filter has an exceptionally long expiration date. This one expires in 2040, which is pretty incredible. This filter comes with a P3 rating, which is an Australian slash New Zealand standard, and that should come with a theoretical percentage of filtration around 99.95%. Here's a video of us measuring the air coming through the filter and into our PCE particle counter, and we averaged over 30 trials, approximately 9.67 particles. This is a second video of us testing the actual air in the environment, and we also did 30 trials, and we averaged around 18,000 and 32 particles over those 30 trials. Based on our testing, the filtration percentage came out to be 99.95%, which is a little bit below the 99.97% filtration for a P100 or N100 filter. But this one is rated at a P3 rating, which is technically an Australian New Zealand standard, which should have a theoretical percentage of filtration at 99.95%. So this filter tests right where it should. Nonetheless, our setup was not exactly perfect. We had to use duct tape in order to attach the filter to our testing setup, which is not ideal as there's probably some leaks there. And my theory is that if we tested this with an actual attachment, we would actually get a much better filtration percentage. And we'll try to do that testing in the near future.